As we begin each day, it may be well to realize that our entire lives may be affected, for better or for worse, by how we think of ourselves. This fact was demonstrated in the experience of a man whom I met on a plane, the sales manager of a rather sizable company. That must be an interesting job being a sales manager, I commented. No doubt you get quite a thrill out of it. He shook his head. Actually, I don't know how I ever got the job or how I keep it. I'm the worst man they could have picked. Oh, he continued, I managed to deliver. Sales were higher last year than ever before, but I really shouldn't be in this kind of work. I'm not suited for it, really. You're tired and nervous, aren't you? I ventured sympathetically. Sure I am, he was quick to admit. But how did you know? Naturally, you would be, I said. As sales manager, you aim to be a good one, and you're succeeding, but against the heavy drag of a negative self-image. Therefore, you wear yourself out, and as a result, get tired, depressed, and tense. By sheer force of ambition and determination, you're doing a creditable job. But if only your natural abilities and your self-image were pulling together, then you would enjoy your job and be one of the greatest. You would have energy to spare. As it is, they are pulling in opposite directions. Well, the salesman was curious about my answer, and I'd like to tell you his reaction after this message. The salesman had a very interesting reaction to my comments. He said, the first time I ever heard that your self-image could do that to you. Just what do you mean by a self-image anyway? And how do you go about bringing it and your abilities into line with each other, like you say? I explained that by self-image we mean the mental picture of ourselves which we carry around with us. It determines the kind of person we think we are. From our life experience we build up a basic belief about ourselves. This belief may be, and often is, an entirely wrong concept, but we act upon it just as if it were true. Suppose, for example, you are capable and efficient. But your own self-image is that of an ineffective and inferior person, as was the case of the salesman on the airplane. You'll work hard, and your natural gifts will carry you pretty far. But this inner conflict draws off energy and vitality. As a result, you'll become tired, tense, and despondent. If, on the other hand, your self-image is changed into one that is in harmony with the true facts about yourself, namely, that you are capable and efficient, then your natural talents will pull in harmony with a sane self-image. Vitality will not escape now that the psychological energy leaks have been closed up. You will no longer fight yourself.